Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We are going to do a puzzle dungeon, puzzle challenge. We've got a lot of these now. I should probably do a, an episode where I cover a whole package rather than like just doing one per episode. In fact, we could probably finish off two today. Savvy desktop dungeon players uh, should always pay attention to a dungeon's layout. When space is tight, a helpful glyph called wait what will let you swap places with an enemy. Positioning matters. Wait, what has quite a few side effects? Enemy debuffs, bonus experience, but right now its value is as an escape tool will be enough. Use it to swap places with the goblin boss. Well, the thing is, is I could swap with the goblin boss or I could swap with the goat and that would give me more stuff in total. You've teleported. Wait, what has served its purpose for the scenario, but you can still recycle it for additional value. Convert wait, what by dragging its glyph over to the conversion area. Out of mana anyway. You have Pissorf glyph. Casting Pissorf on an enemy will knock it back in uh, one square, and dealing damage if it hits a wall or another enemy. Manage your resources and experiment with the knockback effect to kill all remaining goats. And don't forget to position yourself carefully before casting Goat Billiards. So now we take, um, now we can, we can shove this goat into the wall there. And, uh, this is where I'd like to find out. Uh, hmm. I just want to find out if uh, shoving this goat into the other goat is going to do damage, more damage to them. I guess it doesn't really matter. Although I am looking not good right now. Um, okay, let's shove this one in the other one. Yeah, it does damage to both of them. So we're probably going to have to manipulate that. I'm gonna let them kill me because I, I I was just kind of experimenting so um smacking goats into other goats is definitely the way to go to so let's let's um swap grab that um now we have to kill this goat over here right I'm assuming we want to smack this goat into the other goat and then that'll kill the first goat and deal damage to the second goat. Um, I'm not quite sure how to solve this puzzle, to be honest. Because you'll see, like, I'm not, uh, I'm not able to win here. Hmm. Let me just think about this for a second. Because uh, the thing is, wait, what is a good means of, um, applying, like, you get first strike? But the problem is, is that it costs seven. It's expensive. Um, I wonder if they, if I'm meant to just like shove. I mean, these two goats over here are definitely meant to be used. Uh, I'm meant to use Pissorf against them, right? And I definitely need to be able to kill this go goat because, like, I barely have enough things to kill to get me to level two, right? Let's kill that one uh, the annoying way. Uh, 
I guess... I guess they want me to convert... Wait, what? So, actually, yeah. I, 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 I'm still, I was still in the mindset of like, oh, I need... Uh, when I convert things, I'm only going to get mana. So, what I need to do is do wait, what? And then convert it. For 10%. Because then I'm... Oh, I, I screwed up. I already messed up. Oops. Oopsie, do oopsie daisy. Okay, so now we convert this. And now we can kill goats in one turn. That was really what was costing us a lot. So now let's pick up all these. Um... So I have seven health. These guys do three damage each. I'm not sure how we want to go about this. These give us 40% of our uh, total mana, which is four mana. So with, with three potions, that gives us enough to cast Pissor four times. It gives us exactly enough mana to cast it four times. I don't know if um, doing Piss Orf against this... Well, we got to do it against this guy once. We know that because we need access to that other uh, gnome. And actually, this does um, base damage, right? So now that we have slightly more attack damage, it's good to know that we do more damage by doing this, but it's not enough, right? Well, we know for sure that we need to do piss off against these guys because it's going to do 50%. I thought it was going to do 50%. What? Oh, right. 50% of our base damage. Our base damage is six, so we're only doing three damage each. Which means that we'd have to do this. Wait, why is it only? Man, there's just like so much stuff that you have to like keep in mind in this game. So like, here's my problem. 50% um, of my base damage should be three damage. Yet these guys only took two. Why? Why did they only take two damage? Why are they only taking two damage? Oh, right, because our base damage is actually five plus 20% bonus. <clears throat> so what is 50% of five? Apparently it's two rounded down. What happened there? Why did that goat die? Why did one goat die and the other one didn't? Yo, I'm, I'm very confused right now. First of all, why did one of those goats die? Just kind of randomly? Because I hadn't cast the spell yet. And then secondly, why did only... If it did act as if I cast the spell, why did one of them die but the other one didn't? Very confused. Very, very strange. Maybe I should only do one puzzle because this is already starting to add up. We know we need to do that. You may as well do the thing that you know you need to do. We can only take two hits. Right? And like, there's no point in doing piss orf unless we can kill with it because we can already kill these guys with one attack. So we can only take two hits. I don't know, like if I did this, well, let's, let's take a mana potion. If we did this, this, yeah, they would only be down to one health. So there's like no point except to do damage to that second goat. Like I said, we can cast um, Pissor four times. Oh God. Um, we can cast Pissor four times, but we can also take two hits. Let's just try stuff. I, I, I don't I don't think that uh, 
we're gonna gain anything from like trying to mental math this yeah because like the problem is wait if we do it again so they're not up against a wall so i i have a second criticism against desktop dungeons rewind I think that the the name is kind of a uh, misnomer. I wish I could undo things in this game. I just kind of wish I could undo. Like I've been playing a lot of this game called um, what's it called? God, roll the dungeon or something. I think it's called. Roll, let me let me. This is gonna bother me now. Uh, Dungeon dice or uh, dice the dungeon? I don't know. Not dicey dungeons. Die in the dungeon? Nope, that's not it. Different game completely. Too many games with dice and dungeons right now. It's really hard to tell them apart. And they all have. Oh, maybe it's slice and dice. Could be slice and dice. Give me a second here. This is this is really bothering me now. Slice and dice game. Yeah, it's that's it. Slice and dice. And it's 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 a simple game. It's kind of like dicey dungeons in some ways and not in others. But um, you just roll dice and then you have, you know, characters that have special powers and then you, you know, do some damage and kill some creatures. And it's really good. It's actually really well done. And you probably heard about it because it, it did make quite good press. However, um, why am I bringing it up? I'm bringing it up because one thing I really like about it is it just lets you undo moves And I you know, I gotta say like I I am after playing that I'm, I come to the realization Why does so many games resist that idea? Why does so many games resist the idea of letting the player just undo their move and try something else? It seems to me that that would do more to teach the player strategy than punishing them for death like you 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 make more ground by teaching with the carrot than the stick and for me personally i just kind of like since this game is called rewind i kind of just wish i could undo rewind my mistakes when i make them because like otherwise i'm not really learning i have to redo stuff i've already done and now i'm back here and i have to like figure out well like what am i what am i doing so let's assume for a moment um uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kill these goats by just killing them all right and then i'm going to kill these two goats by using piss orf so now someone please explain to me why in the world does that second goat die That doesn't make any sense to me. If target hits a wall or 50% if another enemy, no cast failures unless immune. So now we can't win because I don't have enough mana to get this goat to another wall and I don't have enough health. I I, I won't lie, I'm, I'm getting a little bit frustrated to be honest. Okay, let's um convert that spell get this spell mostly because i have to pick up these three mana potions and i kind of just wish there is there like an automatic there is i can just hit space all right that helps a little bit knowing uh, learning that is a good thing um so it seems to me i have to kill one of these goats with piss orf and seeing as i'm i have to push this goat into a wall it may as well be this one right And I guess we can do this one as well, right? Will that kill it? Yeah, that will kill it. Okay, and then we can kill this one and then this one. Okay. You've demonstrated confidence and resourcefulness in the face of extreme terrain-oriented peril and should be able to use the positional glyphs comfortably in future scenarios. Experiment with them enough and you will find other clever uses. Wait, what? Um, I, I gotta say, I, I am not impressed with 
the clarification of the rules in some ways because why you know it like first of all looking at piss Orf, it doesn't tell you hey uh it does damage like it does damage to both creatures if you push one into the other right it doesn't say that and i would like it to say that you know i i i, I harp on this a lot but it's something that really does irk me about games is like explain yourself clearly please explain yourself clearly because not explaining yourself clearly results in frustration for me and maybe others as well you know it makes things more accessible but also you state like now you know i have it established it should be able to push those goats both into each other and kill them both why did one die and not the other one it just doesn't make sense to me at all all right let's do this last puzzle and then i might have enough time for a dungeon or we might just do puzzles and then that's that's it for that experience the final puzzle in this pack deals with the value of combat experience and shows you how it's calculated experience is a limited resource in desktop dungeons and it's always easy to follow behind in levels fortunately a few tricks exist to help you gain ex extra experience and in the i'm a wall glyph i feel like i've already used this trick extensively I'm a can instantly petrify any non-boss monster of your choosing, but you'll lose the experience benefits of the fight. As compensation, you'll earn an experience boost for your next fight instead. Petrify the blob. Alright, so we pick up that, use that on that. Nice, the goo has become a part of the dungeon wall. And your character now has the XP boost effect. Fight the gorgon and reap your reward. Time for a haircut, gorgon. And then we kill them. Not sure why we didn't die there. We were less, lower than half health. You just gained a massive amount of experience and leveled up only after after only one monster kill. If you're curious, here's how the experience was broken down. I am curious because I've been trying to figure this out. Monsters give experience equal to their level number. I got that right. In this case, two experience was earned because they were level two, right? You earned bonus experience for killing above your level. There's another two experience. And the bonus increases with the level difference. I would like to know how it increases. Like, can, give me a table. What, don't be afraid of tables. Tables are so good. They just tell you the information you want to know. Your XP boost effects, effect added, uh, adds an extra 50%. There you go. Another two experience. The XP boost of effect adds an extra 50%. I assume... And like, again, here, you know... Information is key, 50% of the experience you're earning or the base experience, because we're already earning bonus experience for killing the creature. So are we earning 50% of two experience or are we earning 50% of four experience? My experience, no pun intended, has been so far that it's 50% of the total experience. Um, part of this problem I'm having is ac exacerbated because other rules do not work the consistently in this way uh namely the base damage the base damage is given a plus percentage bonus and in a lot of other skills will not make use of that bonus it doesn't synergize in that way anyway sorry to, to, to be a pain about this and, and finally your learning effect gave an additional one experience what learning effect learning one the xp bar did the math for me gain one extra experience per kill why do we have that? Oh, because we're a fighter? Uh, uh, I'll have to figure that one out. You might be wondering, like, why do you care? Um, this stuff doesn't matter, right? Like, you, you're, you're winning. It doesn't matter if you do. It, it matters in desktop dungeons. It, it does. Like, later on, you really need to make it take full advantage of every, everything you have in order to clear dungeons out. So it's good to learn these things early. Um, that's one of the reasons I like desktop dungeons, but also, you know, it's, it's, I, I just like learn good habits early. So we've got these two goblins. Um, we've got, we, we need to get to level three, I imagine. Um, so this goblin over here is going to, well, we can, we know we can kill them. So that's the important part. We probably just want to use I'm a wall on them. Uh, on a level one and then go and kill this goblin and that'll get us to nine and then we can kill the level one To level up perfect remember when an item is no longer useful to you or you really need uh, a stat bonus Be sure to drag it into the conversion area 
There is nothing left to fight except the boss, and you cannot petrify it. Convert your glyph into some extra attack power. I'm surprised, honestly, that this puzzle did not include the fact... Like, I... I, <laughs> I was... Su I'm surprised that I wouldn't have to have converted that by killing the, like, sooner. I have to do some tricky business where I use petrification and then convert it before I attack something. Anyway, we're done. Uh, wasn't That wasn't too bad. Didn't take me as long. And we got our 300 gold reward. I can't really spend that on anything, but that's fine. Adventure. Um, so we've done Northern Desert. Uh, they want us to do Venture Cave with a different class. And since I've already spent 20 minutes um, doing other things, why don't we do this? So we need to get other badges. Faithless. These are extra rewards and uh, things that we have to do. So, so far we've completed this with the thief. So we know we can't, we don't have to, you know, we, we don't, we can't be a thief. That's it. So why don't we go ahead and play as a, um, kind of want to do like a dwarf fighter. Simple, you know, easy. And then we'll do preparations. Uh, let's go ahead and take an extra sword. And, oh, I thought, oh, okay, we didn't select it. My bad. All right, good. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, we're just, just going to roll. If I see uh, Thargor or whatever his name is, I will probably go for it. Oh, we've already got ourselves a nice, decent sword. Do we have enough money here? Yeah, we do. Heck yeah. So we're already going to do, like, really nice damage. I do kind of wish, I mean, I'm, you know, it would be a very different game, but I do kind of wish you could treat this like an RPG where you just, like, kill creatures and level up like it's not like that i know that's weird but it's it's not that kind of game um all right so we got wait what i like wait what um this would kill uh kill our death penalty so we have a level two dude here we can hit it twice and then do wait what actually we could just kill it and that will level us up we don't have to use wait what uh since we like i don't want to waste the exploration so i may as well kill things while i go through here that makes use of the exploration i might save one level one dungeon just on the off chance you s you have this suicidal gall to cross my path challenger look well upon me for this is the last time your eyes will ever see the world through anything but a blinding red ooze i'll plunge my sword into every inch of your feeble flesh until you scream blood and cough up bone shards wow brutal you'll be battered so ferociously that you'll beg the god of death himself to burn and consume your soul before I have the pleasure of wrenching it from the wet crimson bed of your corpse. This is getting very gr uh, uh, graphic. Face me, laughable hero. If the universe has any Murphy mercy, it shall strike you down at this very moment and spare me the raw delight of making you history's most dire warning to adventures elsewhere. Everywhere. Bloodstain says what? I'm not afraid. Um, okay, so we are three experience away from leveling up. And we can't reach that level two, unfortunately. Ugh. This is not good, because we're very much blowing through our dungeon here. Hey, you know what? Why don't we do a wait what? And we can reach that level two. Perfect. And we level up. Can we kill a level four now? I think think so although that i think that's uh, what's happening there is it's taking into consideration my death protection um we don't want to use our death protection against a normal goblin um but i wouldn't mind using a health potion i'm pretty sure if i use a health potion i'll have enough yeah i can kill a level three I'm not being too graceful about this. That's fine. We don't need to be. This is an easy dungeon. I don't have to. I don't have to math out everything. Um, we're at level three. Oh, we can definitely kill the zombie. And we can do. Well, we can't kill this goblin. And I'm not doing the whole wait what thing because um, uh, they have first strike, and so it's not actually going to do anything against them. But we have a meat man. I like the meat man. They're easy. We leveled up. We can now kill this goblin without having to use anything, so we will. 
Pick up a health potion. I'm gonna leave the level ones on the off chance there's a uh, that that one glyph that lets us make use of them. Kill the warlock. We got getting there. I love getting there. That kind of means we don't need wait what anymore. I think the first chance I get that makes it um, viable to to get rid of it, I will. Um, well, let's look at this level five. They were they're gonna take two two strikes. That makes sense. And uh, we could use a health potion. They will level us up. So why don't we go ahead and do this and then use a health potion and kill them and level up. Ah, we do have Tarog. I worship you, Tarog. So now that we were, we're worshiping Tarog, let's go ahead and you uh, convert. Wait, what? That's going to give us more favor with Tarog. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and get this blade. Pick up the blade. And I think I have enough right away. Actually, let's uh let's convert this burn to raise as well. More favor with Tarog, and then we'll get the shield. Um I can't pick up the shield, why not? Oh, we don't have enough room. Okay, why don't we go ahead and convert this sword? And then we should be able to pick yeah, we can pick up the shield now. Okay, cool. Um alright, so where are we at? We need to kill a bunch of stuff. At this point, I don't care if this stupid stone glyph is available in this dungeon because we gain favor with Tarog whenever we kill something. So we may as well just kill everything. Yeah, we just want to earn some earn some favor with the, with the Tarog. Um. I could convert mana potions as well. I'm not converting getting there because getting there, even though it, it pisses Tarog off, is is good. It's, it's just a really good spell. Um, and it could probably win us uh, our, you know, it could beat the boss for sure. Uh, let's get the Tarog helm. We don't have enough room. We can convert. You know what? Let's just get rid of our mana potions. There we go. So we have the helm now. Um, things are going really well, actually. Listen, I like any any match, any any game where I get to worship Tarog is is a good time. Now, I, I'm looking at this. We could hit them four times. One, two, three. Four. I'm pretty sure that it like it says four is a death on the right side, but I don't think that's correct because it looks like well, like well we can hit them. F no one two. Oh I see. It's confusing to me because uh, one should be where I'm losing the health, like where where my health is. Oh I see it is. Never mind. So what am I confused about? One two three four. So why is that four grayed out on the right side? Because in theory, I should be able to hit them four times without taking, uh, without dying. And then I can use uh, getting there to, to kill them the last time. Let's try it. Oh, that's why, because I can only hit them three times. And then that's going to use up my, uh... okay. Well, let's see. Maybe I can make magic happen here somehow. I can hit him two more times. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Nice try. But I mean, it's a level seven, dude. What did I expect? Um, so I can hit this guy twice. I can I can kill this guy. Why do we level up? Someone want to explain to me why I leveled up there? Why in the world did I level? What, what gave me XP? That is very strange. Certain things I do not understand. 
There are certain things I do not understand. I'm sure I'll learn them. You know, they're advanced concepts for sure, but like, I do wish I just understood things better. Uh, all right, let's, I think we can kill Meat Man now. So we can hit him three times without dying. And then on the fourth time, we will lose our death penalty or death protection, but that's fine. We're probably going to buy death protection from Tarog, right? And we hit them once more. And then there we go. So that leveled us up again. We have another meat man and we've got biceps. I love biceps, but uh, obviously Tarog's not a fan of magic. Uh, kind of just want to do this again I can hit him three times yeah we can just do this again level nine no problem we piss off Tarug a little bit but then we gain that back when we uh, you know kill things um I really like biceps there's no way to take this oh I, I guess if I gave up fine sword but that's four damage. Is that worth it? I'm pretty sure giving up fine sword for biceps is worth it. Um, we can do this. We are uh, kind of losing ground with Torog a little bit. Okay, we've, we're up to 25. I don't... I, I don't have enough room for Torog's armor. Bring Torog's will into existence at the cost of one maximum mana. Um, worn by conquering generals throughout history. This armor affords 15% extra physical resistance when equipped. By the way, I'm pretty sure if you convert any of Torog's stuff, it really ticks him off. Let's um maybe get rid of get in dare. I know it's a I know getting I love getting dare. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, but I think that uh, the armor is going to be better for us. And we're uh, we're at level 8 now. We could conceivably get to level 9 or 10 even in this run. We're at 40 favor with Tarog. Let's go ahead and buy Unstoppable Fury. Wait, we already have Death Protection? Did I... I thought I lost Death Protection. So we're just gaining, like, a lot of favor with Tarog now. Interesting. I'm not sure... There's funky things happening right now just going to convert mana potions because I, I I can't take them and I don't need them. I guess at this point we have so much favor with Tarog that we could basically just feed uh, like use death protection at like a free bloody sigil a removable magical tattoo which painfully binds itself to a host adding five maximum health and boosting regeneration while lowering damage by 10 percent interesting not worth it this this round duh i don't know if there's any reason to use biceps but i will yeah there wasn't really any reason and we leveled up we're level nine I really don't know if there's any point in trying to get to level 10, but I do think that there is uh, rewards for doing so. Oh, wow. I don't even have enough room for health, the health potion. Oh, sub sub dungeon. I don't think this is. Oh, we have a gin. Retaliate fireball. Convert the mana potion. I don't think... I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else for us here. Nope. Just a fun extra thing. We have a level one. 
character. Level five, that's not nothing. But we need uh, 15 more. We can, uh, well, we're going to convert end as well. For some extra damage. I guess at this point we could start wailing on the boss. And uh, remember, uh, we don't care about losing death protection because we can just go and buy another one for free. <laughs> Dead. Ah, uh, we're two away from leveling up. I'd like to get to level 10 if possible. Oh, oh man. Just give me a level two monster anywhere. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't believe it. That's the closest to level 10 I've gotten ever. Hoping maybe in there. No. I don't know. That's that's bizarre. We're so close. You would think that there would be a way. I guess not. That's fine. Well, we done it. I'm just like really bewildered by that. Okay. Um Okay, let's leave. We got specialist killed the last boss using either magical or physical. So what are these cheeky? The first monster killed was a higher level than you. Okay, that's difficult to do. Didn't worship any gods. Obviously, faith, Faithless would be... Uh, like, we have to do these, right? We have to try and win this dungeon with all of these. One at a time. We don't have to do them all at once, obviously. Reach level 10. No! <laughs> I guess the only thing that would have, got, would have gotten me to level 10 is if I'd killed a higher level creature than me. Like, one more time. If I'd killed, like... There was at least two or three times where I killed a creature higher level than me. If I'd done that like one more time, I would have reached level 10. Played the dungeon without any extra kingdom preparations. Didn't use any glyph skills. That seems really hard. Oh no, a crash has occurred. It says system reflection. Okay, all right. Well, I'll, I'll see you soon. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It didn't actually crash the desktop, which is nice. Uh, and it still counts, uh, like I still have my fighter win. Um, I don't remember getting purist. Maybe I got purist on my first playthrough. But, uh, either way, uh, that's going to do it. Um, we, we did a thing. We didn't get any gold for it because it was just like, uh, we're just trying to, like, check some boxes for each dungeon. Um, but, you know, it was fun. And, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what our quest is right now. Like, our main mission hold on a second wait that's the neighborhood hold on uh, uh adventure venture castle caves where is the money bin get it done with uh you need to manage unstoppable so we need unstoppable what was I, like I, again i kind of wish it would just tell me what that is uh, money vault is not large enough. Kill everything in the venture cave. Petrification not permitted against level 8 or higher. I thought I did that. I thought I killed literally everything. Um. And there's not really like a journal or anything that'll tell us what some of these badges are. So I guess I'm gonna have to do that again. Uh, and maybe we will in the next episode. Well, anyway, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.